Hello, I'm here to show you how to make money with functioning Vulkan drivers in a Linux installation. The first thing you need to do is find out if you have functioning Linux drivers. So I want you to go to your terminal and type in Vulkan info dash dash summary. Scroll up to where it says GPU zero and go down here to where it says device type or actually device name. If it says something about LLVM pipe, you do not have functioning Vulkan drivers and you need to reference my other video on how to get your Vulkan drivers functioning. Now this method only works for AMD cards, not NVIDIA. Fascinating. If you're sure that you do have functioning Vulkan drivers and you'd like to see a great program to upscale images with in Linux, check out Upscale. I'm going to show you how to get this working right now. You want to click download and go down here to Linux. Click on app image. I've already got a folder for this set up right now, so I'm just going to click save. This is a 265 megabyte download and there is one additional download you're going to need to make. Okay, right down here where it says FAC, you're going to want to click on that. Okay, scroll up just a little bit and click right here. Where do I find more models? More models can be taken from here. Using models, download this repository, extract a zip, go to the settings, add custom models, blah, blah, blah. I'll show you how to do this. Here, I'm going to go ahead and throw this right on my desktop. Okay, I've downloaded this program to my apps folder and I've got the custom models over here. So really quick, I'm going to extract this. Okay, you want to go inside here and just take the models folder and just drop it in here. It's the easiest way to do it. Now, the easiest thing to do is just right click this, go to properties, go to permissions, and click allow executing file as program, close, and then double click this. You're going to get this main program window come up, and then you're going to get a prompt right here that asks you if you want to update. Just go ahead and say install update. There, I now have the latest version of this program. Let me show you a couple things you need to do to set this up. You need to go to set output folder, and this is going to be mine right here, so you just want to click open. Then you want to go to settings and scroll down and where it says save output folder make sure that's checked okay scroll down again and where it says add custom models just select your folder I know I put mine right here and then just click open so that's all you need to do for your settings and once you click back here uh, see, normally this only goes down to digital art, but now you can scroll down and you've got all these extra models, and it's really good. The more you can have, the better. Here's where the part about making money comes in. I went on a website recently, and I just generated all these AI picks. So, let's take this one for a quick example. This is 768 by 1232. Not a good resolution, but it's still really excellent for the quality I got. And if you keep watching this video, this AI does text right, which is pretty rare for a lot of AI. This does a better job at generating text than all the other AIs. What happens if you take a low resolution image like this and try to actually upload it to a print on demand site? I'll show you. This might look nice and zoomed in so far, but it's not. Go to large print or standard print clothing and look at how small this is. And this is already scaled to 100% size, which means you're never going to get the picture bigger than this. Not good for a shirt. 
Now I've already got upscale loaded, so all you have to do is take a folder like this with an image that you want to upscale, drag and drop it over here. As long as your output folder is set and you have your model set, all you really have to do is click upscale. This is going to take a little bit longer because I'm also using OBS Studio, so I'm going to pause this. This just took approximately 30 seconds and the difference is remarkable. You can scroll left or right here. I believe right is after left is before. But here's a much better way to see what you just did. Okay, I'm going to get my original pick out of this AI picks folder and here's the result in HD output. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see more of the difference here. If you're watching this video in 1080p right now, you should be able to see the difference in the sharpness of the lines. If you look at the difference here with the leaves and the trees and the words, the difference is just remarkable. But this is 768 by 1232 versus 3072 by 4928. Let's see what happens when we upload the better one. I just did this and the difference is remarkable. Here's your large print clothing and this is only 80% scale. So you don't want to scale this up too much, but you don't want too many borders on the edges either. Standard print's not too bad either. Let's check out graphic t-shirts. That looks nice, and that fits very nicely with the borders. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do this one, but I just wanted to use it for an example. I just did one more, same program, same real ESR GAN model, and these are the results I got. Absolutely spectacular. Everything looks so sharp and clear in the upscaled photo, it's ridiculous. So, I'm going to scroll down, show a couple different things. Original versus upscaled on the right. A lot smoother on, on the other one. You're still going to find AI generated images have imperfections and they'll become more clear when they're actually upscaled, but the upscaling is still just such a spectacular result. Okay, if you've been watching this video this whole time and you want to know an AI picture generator that will actually do words correctly, now this is rare, a lot of them don't do this, it's called ideogram.ai. The only thing you need to log in with this is your Google login. So you see I'm logged in right here. Those are some of the pictures I've generated so far. If you click up here on settings, it's going to show you how many prompts you have left. It says I've already used one prompt. Okay, this is what I'm trying to generate right now. A cat with sunglasses surfs on a surfboard on the rings of Saturn wielding a sword with his left hand and a shield with his right hand. In the background, a large golden spaceship with purple thrusters flies by in the distance. Words overhead written in a cute font read, our future is out there. I'm just going to go ahead and click generate. This is actually the slow prompt generation, but I am 100% satisfied with the speed and the quality. This is absolutely amazing for what I just requested. I didn't even think I'd get anything this nice. With most AIs out there, I wouldn't even get anything this nice. And if you've used a lot of AI image generation websites out there, you're not going to get readable text. They normally have a problem with it. I will say this one you have to be careful with. Overall, the quality is excellent, but sometimes you do get distorted fingers and eyeballs. However, that's not a problem right now because this cat's wearing sunglasses. 
I went ahead and just did this. I couldn't do this picture in three months if my life depended on it. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and check this out. But first, golden spaceship, purple thrusters, sword and shield, and surfboard. And the words, this is everything I asked for. This is amazing. Yeah, the difference in quality is astronomical. You can see the sharpness in the lines are way more increased on the picture on the right. There's even a splash effect behind the surfboard. I didn't even ask for that, they just added it, but I'm completely satisfied. Even the shield looks better. Everything. This upscale program is amazing and so is this AI generation website. That's all this video has. I just wanted to say thank you for watching it and I'll see you in the next one. Also, good luck to you guys. I hope you make some money.